Hi, I'm Ankita Pathak, an economist with Edelweiss Research Team. Every month, we publish a report on inflation numbers released by the Government of India. But before I take you through the technical intricacies of the report, let me help you understand some basic terms and concepts surrounding it. To start with, what is inflation? Simply put, inflation is a measure of change in level of prices. It measures the change in level of prices across commodities in an economy. Inflation in an economy is measured based on different indices. Chiefly, there are two available readings for inflation. Wholesale price index, which is the measure of price from the wholesaler to the retailer, and consumer price index, which is the measure of price from the retailer to the final consumer. Secondly, what is headline inflation and how do we interpret it? A lot of times when you hear a conversation surrounding inflation, you must have heard the term headline inflation. Headline inflation is the raw inflation as reported through consumer price index which is released every month, typically on 12th of every month. If the headline inflation rate is 2%, it means that the prices are 2% higher than the same period last year. Now let us consider a following scenario. Say in January 2018, the prices were 100. In December 2018, the prices are 104. And in January 2019, the prices are 102. As a consumer in the market, you might be feeling that the prices have come off from December to January. But the newspaper headline tells you that the inflation rate is actually 2%. This is because inflation is calculated on the base of last year. So the prices have risen from 100 in January 2018 to 102 in January 2019, effectively a rise of 2%. This is also what is called the base effect in inflation. Now let us better understand the components of inflation and code inflation. The earlier mentioned price of 100 is an index of actual prices. It is measured as weighted average of different commodities. If you consider a consumption basket of an Indian consumer, food will take up most of the space. Hence, it has the highest weight in consumer price index. This is followed by miscellaneous, which includes health, education and other expenses, followed by clothing, fuel and light, and finally the category of fine tobacco and intoxicants come in. Another important measure of inflation is core inflation. Core inflation is the measure of inflation except for food and fuel prices. Food and fuel are the most volatile components of inflation which are subject to both domestic as well as global fluctuations. Measuring inflation without these gives us the core non-cyclical inflation prevailing in the domestic economy. Now boiling down to the most important question, why do we look at inflation readings or why is inf inflation so important to understand? Inflation holds a very key position in macroeconomics. Your interest rates are linked to inflation. So whether or not RBI decides to cut interest rates depends on inflation. A low inflation calls for a great cut, whether a higher inflation calls for a rate hike. Nominal GDP, the measure of growth in an economy, is simply put real GDP plus inflation. Also, your day-to-day -day expenses, your wage increments, your consumption basket, all of it depends on inflation. It is very important to note that 4% inflation is good for the economy. Neither hyperinflation or very high levels of inflation or stagflation or very low levels of inflation are beneficial for the economy. Now that we have covered the basic components surrounding inflation, in the next video, we will do a more in-depth analysis as we cover the numbers and our observations. Thank you. See you in the next video.